Uh, what do you think about having animated scenes like computers or holograms along with more details for interior design? Would be cool DLC. QA site. Could Maybe cool, that yeah. be, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if it like warrants a DLC though. Because it just sounds like a cool small little feature. It's not like it's not like it changes the game or anything like that. Because mm -hmm. I think if you buy I'm trying to like think of like what would I buy for Satisfactory if I wanted to buy DLC because um, like I think you'd want something new, like new feature wise not just like quality of life stuff because quality of life you f I feel like that should be that should be come from the game and this this mm. feature sounds like a quality of life thing I would like a build bazooka a build bazooka yes just yeah just optimize away the fun out of the game just like just build a factory here <laughs> We should, dem when you mass dismantle, we should still have it so you shoot like a rocket and just explode your factory. Oh, we used to have that? No, but it oh, would okay. be fun. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah uh, don't you think that something like, <clears throat> don't you think that something that adds secondary gameplay like aesthetics isn't a, isn't a good purchase option? Hang on. I think it, yes. Don't you think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, what they're trying to say is like, don't you think adding like aesthetic build options would be something that could be good? Um, yeah. And yeah, I think that we could be cool. Um, we've talked about like cosmetics in the past as well, like more cosmetic options. Obviously, we have the cosmetics in the in the hub right now, um, and we could always do more cosmetics and stuff like that. And maybe that's something that we should do for this first like DLC pack, like something smaller. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I I think that could make sense. Uh, it's always hard to find the balance between like what we think should be in the base game and what we think is like oh this is extra. Uh, because it feels like some aesthetic build options could be seen as like, this should probably be part of the game. Um, and it, it feels like weird if we're gating some of that stuff behind DLC. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to you guys, what you think is, is worthwhile. Um, <clears throat> like if there's a lot of people that think it's worth buying, you know, aesthetic build pieces uh, as a DLC, um, and you know, maybe that makes sense. Cause like it is, it is really tricky when it comes to this stuff. Uh, you know, we don't want to make people feel cheated out of the game. If, it, if mm. that makes sense. Like there are definitely aspects of the game. If we make DLC where we don't want people to feel like they're being cheated out of content that should have been in the game and like content yeah. that we could have put in the game. Um, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a argument to be made about like whether, you know, improving the game and making people want to come back to it will attract new players as well. Um, so, um, yeah. Cool. Because there's yeah. also an element of like, when it comes to DLC, like if we make DLC that's like cosmetics or anything like that, uh, and then people who are like, I don't want that, like then it's, that's totally fine. If you wanna, if you don't wanna pay for stuff like that, uh, then you won't buy the DLC, right? But we don't want mm -hmm. it to be the case where you see us put that out and be like, I want that, but I don't want to pay for that. That's sort of what we're trying to avoid. Um, and since we've never done anything DLC related to Satisfactory, it's hard for us to know, uh, you know, like what we should go for and what we shouldn't go for. Um, and it's, it's easier when you think about like updates because we know that like that will go into the game and will make the game better. Mm. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for coming to my yeah. TED Talk. Yes. <laughs>